Peters backstroke. Bacon, your top seed from the morning, 211.63. Bacon has been a 205.0 in her career. She won that at the international team trials a year ago in Greensboro. She was on form in Indianapolis, 206.59 turned in there. Probably one of the fastest A finals you're ever going to see. Two weeks ago in Indy. It's Fredericks out to the early lead, 30.3 for the Australian in lane five. He's a 211.72. She finished in second of the Australian Championships back in April for her best time. 213.59 is that Olympic trials cut that a few of our swimmers are still trying to knock out under the qualifying timeline. There's the halfway point. Bacon now in the lead. 102.9 for Phoebe Bacon. Out ahead of Fredericks, who's out on a 103.0. 103.90 for Josephine Fuller in lane three. Her best time in the U.S. Open last December, 209.7 for her. She's already gotten that Olympic trial cut, swimming a 210.5 at the national championships a few weeks ago. Also. 213.40, just signing under it this morning. Caroline Bentz was in fourth at the 100. Here's the 150. Bacon still in the lead. Two tenths of a second. Fredericks right next to her still. Fuller, 138.0. She's got a good battle going on with Caroline Bentz. Six tenths of a second back. Can anyone challenge for third? Bacon's trying to keep a close eye on Fredericks, the Australian in lane number five. Bacon right up against that lane line. Keeping it close. Look at the tempo change from Phoebe Bacon down the final 10 meters. She is going to sprint away and take the win. 209.30, a 209.87 for Fredericks. A huge best time for her. And a 211.81 for Fuller, finishing in third. Misha Wilson getting under that Olympic trials qualifying standard, finishing in fourth. Anna Freed as well, going to 213-16. That's your winner with a 209.30, Phoebe Bacon.